hi guys, nice hi. to meet you. Um, so happy that it's the first time of you guys here in Brazil. Yeah. How are you feeling? And how are you feeling with your fans? Um, and this, are they were welcoming, how is it? We are just so excited to finally be here. Like it's taken us 10, 10, 11 years of being a band to finally get to play shows here. And everyone's been so kind and so generous to us so far. So yeah, we're really, really grateful. And yeah, Coldplay's fan base have been so kind to us. And we have our own headline show tomorrow. Yep. So yes, we're excited to see those people up close. Cause I feel like I've seen them online so much. Yeah. I've never met them in real life. So. Um, talking about Coldplay. Is it intimidating for you guys to play to such a packed stadium and like so many nights in a row? Uh, it was on the first night. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I think like we, you know, we've been a band for a while now, so we don't get super nervous very often. But I could tell that we were all <laughs> definitely <laughs> nervous. On there the was first an edge. Night. Yeah. Okay. Um, but now, now it's uh, the fans are so warm. Coldplay are really amazing people they've been so kind to us we feel so comfortable inside their camp now that mm. we are we feel confident in just going on stage and doing our thing every night and it's and having fun rather than being overwhelmed by nerves okay so. <laughs> and what do you think it's the most um rewarding thing about to play to this uh to this audience i mean that is not specifically yours i mean you're going to see your friends tomorrow but um, what's the most rewarding thing to play to this, these people there's always the hope that um if you're you know doing your job well that you'll you know win people over you know that might not have heard the band because mm -hmm. they have such a huge amazing audience and uh, a lot of them just won't even have heard of of churches and uh, it's great to um to get a chance to sort of win them over, you know? Whereas when you play in your own show, it's like they're all there to see the yeah. band and hear those songs and the totally different atmosphere, totally different, you know, energy. But um, it's been really fun so far. Cool. Um, well, I know this last couple of days were rain a lot, mm -hmm. but did you guys have the chance to enjoy a little bit of the city or? <laughs> I mean, we're very fortunate that we've had a lot of work to do, so, <laughs> so that's good. But um, yeah, we might go for dinner tonight, I think, yeah. after we finish promo. Today is sunny, so. You know, well, so. we might not get, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But it's all, I feel like every night when we've been getting rained on, there's 70,000 other people who are being rained on and yeah. no one seems, everyone turns up to that stadium right on time and they don't care when it's just so awesome. They're just so excited for the show. Everyone's got their raincoat on, they don't mind. And I think that's <laughs> just, yeah, that makes, it feels like we're all in it together. Okay. Um, well, tell me a little bit about your new single, Over. Um, did you prioritize innovating or consolidating um, your, the sound you were already making? Both, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I did, I'm a big fan of the idea of like looking back to move forward. Yeah. The, um, it's important that you do something new and something exciting but to me like over I don't from a personal standpoint it sounds like a classic churches song mm -hmm. but it doesn't sound like we're just mining the things that we've done in the, in the past it sounds like they're we're pointing to a possible future one that may never occur <laughs> because we've only written one song we're gonna <laughs> when, when we make an album that's the beauty of making an album is you can you make what you what you love at the time and that those things can change very quickly um but over is a great example of a, like just a i guess creative freedom that we've been lucky to have since the beginning of the band and we'll hopefully maintain forever and okay. what can we expect tomorrow for the concert i mean it's really amazing to have these two things that are so different and juxtaposed with each other but i guess yeah tomorrow i think will be more the screen violence tour properly mm -hmm. um and i guess yeah we're gonna add over into that set as well and i think that will feel more like our, our comfort zone that we're used to doing and i'm really glad that we get to do that show for the fans here and um, and then back to opening for coplay in the stadium <laughs> which is <laughs> as, uh, 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 as one does six <laughs> nights that's fine <laughs> okay normal. so tomorrow um we're gonna see the final girl playing <laughs> yes she will be back so she's, excited she's to see that. She's always there in some way, but um, yes. Um, 
Yeah, as much as I was like, oh, it'll be nice to not have to do the blood every night because then I won't have to wash my hair every yeah. night. But then I get rained on every night at the show, so then I'm like, I haven't having to wash more than ever. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. Um, so thank you very much, thank guys. You. I'm thank so you. excited to see the concert tomorrow. Thank, thank you. So much. Thank you.